Good morning, Internet fans. It's Ryan Perry with Simple Biz Support. Today is Thursday, August 20th. Therefore, it is Internet Marketing Thursday. And I have Virginie Dorn with Business Website Center down in good old Petaluma, California. Good morning, Virginie. Good morning, Ryan. Happy Thursday to everybody who's listening today. Definitely. Happy Thursday. Uh, we have a lot to cover, so I want to jump right into this. Uh, essentially, what we're talking about in this, uh, this kind of series, I think it's going to be a four-part series on where website design is going into uh, 2016, is really talking about the big image. And you know, it used to be that back in the day, we had to really be careful about image size. And even Google said, look, we want your websites to load because of mobile devices and the slow download speed. Today, however, technology's changed quite a bit. Um, internet speeds are definitely ramping up even on the mobile side. And you know, we still need to be aware of minimizing the overall file size. Uh, but more and more websites are going to very large images, and actually a few of them now are going to full screen video, um, which I think is really cool. And I think that's just an advancement of technology allowing us to take, um, to really maximize the real estate space that we have on a website. Yes, there's nothing more powerful than the right image for conveying a complex subject matter. I mean, in few, a matter of seconds, you can really convey a very complex idea like you and I discussed, then uh, people don't, are not required to read six paragraphs of text. So images, when used purposefully and appropriately, can be quite uh, beneficial to the website. So that's what yeah. we'll be yeah, I, I, the only thing I was going to say is that in, in that case, it's really important as a business owner that you have a really clear understanding of who your audience is and what the goal of the website is so that when people land on it, um, that expectation is met with the imagery that's presented and then uh, obviously the words. Yes, uh, absolutely. You talk, uh, we talk about target audience, I think, every single Thursday. And for some of my clients, sometimes it still goes over their head. Uh, if you don't know who you're trying to sell to, uh, there's no point in doing anything. So when using large images, the same remains true. You have to know who your target audience is, and will, a large image will be beneficial to them. And if so, how are you going to purposely use it? And we'll be showing you today some actually live example on how customers have used it uh, appropriately and have got really positive success uh, from, from that method. Okay, perfect. And you're going to cover two concepts, is that correct, with individual parts for each one? Yeah, so we'll have two parts. The first part is the mechanics, so maybe three different samples on how to use a large image on the website. And the second part about uh, using an image with a purpose. Uh, I'll be repeating the word purpose uh, a lot. Uh, you just don't want to use an image because it's just pretty or kind of look like what you do. You want to use it for a very specific goal uh, to support your business uh, vision. So let me tr start by sharing. All right. And the one that you're going to start sharing, um, this is a very large image. And we're talking about, um, what are we going to be talking about with this image? So this one is when you use a large image as a full screen. So that website, uh, regardless of the screen size of a user, I'm currently on a 24 inch screen size, it will uh, adapt itself. So even if you're on a smaller screenshot like 19 or 18, uh, the image will still be full screen and fully visible by the visitor. Uh, this can be quite powerful. Um, you can really focus on just a few elements. As you can see, they have four defined sections to their website. They have, I think, hundreds of pages. Um, and they represent what they do, which is uh, outdoor siding for houses. The next one I want to show you is how large images can be used in sliders. And this one uh, is actually quite a large image. Again, I'm using a 24-inch screen, and it's it, it, they all have a purpose. It's used in a slider. It's totally possible nowadays with the new coding technique. There's no slowdown. I have regular Comcast internet here. As you can see, the images are displaying just fine. There's no downtime whatsoever. And the third one I want to show in terms of mechanics, and by the way, we'll be spending more time on purpose behind images, but let's look at mechanics. You can also do a collage of some sort. Again, 
um, screen size are getting larger and larger nowadays. It is not uncommon for someone to have a 20 inch or above. And as you can see, this client was able to convey a very specific message about what they do and the need by using a different collage. And maybe this could be our segue into the next part. As you can see on that image, it was done purposefully. There is different uh, um, ethnic background of the children they help around the world. There, there is actually a total of six images, three of which are quite sad, what's of the current situation in those countries, and three images are smiling children, which is the uh, positive result this organization has uh, thanks to donation from the public. So it has the need, but it also has the output of what difference people can make by supporting Children Hunger Relief Fund, which by the way is a fantastic organization. So if you're looking at supporting someone, those other people. So right. again, large image. Right, and what I like about all the images is that they either clear, they clearly define um, who, what they do or who they are, or they convey uh, an emotion. You know, you, yes. you respond to that emotionally. And ultimately, if you can connect with people emotionally, they are going to want to take the next step, which is fill out a form, make a donation, buy a product, pick up the phone and call you. Absolutely. And people keep forgetting when you're on the internet, there is no possible way for eye contact, a handshake, there's no physical contact. So somehow you have to evoke a certain type of feeling. And the feeling is different for every industry. In um, a nonprofit organization, you really want to touch the heart of the visitor, so very heartfelt. If you're a high-end corporate office, you really want to strike the feeling of uh, power, accuracy, trust, you know, high performance. So different feelings, different companies, and that can be done with the large, powerful images when it, it is used right. So let's move on to, again, the purpose behind the image. You just don't want something that is just pretty or kind of looks what, what you do. You want to do it with a goal in mind. So it can work if, for instance, if it's a perfect representation of your services, of your products. So think Apple computer. If you go to their website in their iPad section or their site, they have pictures of their iPads, which makes complete sense. Uh, this particular client is using large images of branded product they've created for their own customers. Again, it's a, it's a perfect representation of the vast majority of products they can, they can build for clients and how they can brand them. Right, and what's, what's really nice about that is, that is that when you get to see the after effect is that um, you can see how everything comes together you know, the brand and the purpose and all of that comes together. And that's really powerful. The other ones is if it's relevant or before and after images also. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, that's great in the service industry when you're doing renovation work, cleaning work, anything you know, after, uh, before and after, or even dietary industry exercise. Uh, now, the next one is if you, for instance, have, um, you're trying to push a brand. So this client here has developed a new logo. So what they did is they put it right nice and big as their first slide, uh, fairly large. Uh, typically, people would not put the logo that large, but again, they're pushing the release of a new logo. And that's what they decided to do is put it nice and big on the homepage for at least the next few months. And at some point, they'll t take it down and just replace it with a different slide. So if branding is important to your company, make sure it's there on that first large image. So to, to really connect the user, but like, oh, that's right, that's who they are. It's all about visibility. Now, another purpose you want to think about is, again, highlighting the benefits of what you do. So for instance, if you're a construction company, you mentioned the before and after. Another thing can be the focusing on the after. This is what we do. That represents the quality of our work. Those are our projects. We do large commercial buildings, you know, and so forth. As you can see, it has pictures of all of them. Um, the, and the other thing you're doing is you're getting social acceptance, especially with these people. When you, you know, locally, we all know Cloverdale, and if they built or were part of the Cloverdale Fire Department, uh, there's a certain level level of credibility that they get with that image just because of the brand that they're now associating themselves with. 
you are absolutely correct and they actually indeed build the entire construction uh, of the entire building here for the fire station so yes brand recognition uh, oh you did their website you did their construction you did you know people just by association will think uh, better of you now a last purpose to consider is when it helps support some sort of call to action so you have an image perhaps but you want someone to do something um, so i'm just going to refresh the first slide on this particular website ask you to either <laughs> Let me go back again. It, uh, I ask you to contact the agent or visit uh, the page associated with that image. So people could click here and it will take them directly to that real estate property that is available for sales if you have over $3 million to spend. And I think you went there not so long ago, correct? Uh, yeah, this, this was the one I was uh, in back in April, or I think it was April. It's a, okay. it's a beautiful place. If you have an extra $3 million, uh, it is definitely a beautiful place and very close to downtown uh, Cabo San Lucas. Yeah, well, you can see how you can have the image and then call to action right on top of the image. You know, just like here, there's another page. You can click here and see the property. So uh, again, something to remember, have a purpose behind using a large image. It could be a perfect representation of your services or product. It could be uh, when you're trying to push your brand for, forward or announcing a maybe new brand. Uh, it could be highlighting the benefits of you using your company, what would be the finished product if you choose us, and also illustrate a concept that helps support a call to action on your website. So all of this, um, if, if you can use an image for one of those four purposes, you can be quite successful. And, uh, right. and, if, and if you're going to do that, I really recommend that you talk to an expert, somebody like Virginie who deals with this on a regular basis. Um, and the, there's a couple of key reasons. One, um, understanding how people look, interact, and deal with website is really important. Um, you know, when you convey, essentially a website is another marketing tool. It's a way of conveying uh, information. A radio ad is a way of conveying information. A billboard is a way of conveying information, just like a postcard is. But people are going to interact and deal with each one of those forms of communication differently. And so if you try and take the same message that you put on a postcard that you mail directly to people and just copy and paste it and put it on a billboard, you're gonna have horrible results. And you know, so you really wanna make sure that you work with somebody who understands how people are going to interact with um, the device that you're putting this message out on. The other part is having somebody that has uh, graphic designers who can actually create beautiful imagery that uh, you may not be able to do as a business owner. You know, a lot of times we go, ah, we're, we got a really tight budget. I, I'm just going to try and build out my own WordPress site. And the downside to that is that you end up creating something that may look nice. And when you show it to your friends and family, everybody go, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. But if it doesn't <laughs> convey the right message, then you're not going to get conversion. If you do not get conversion, then you essentially have a marketing piece that's not effective and you're wasting time, money, and energy because every day you're not making a sale is a day or a sale that you can never get back. Oh gosh, you said it so well. I'm, mommy's proud. <laughs> no, you're, you're not gonna start crying, are you? <laughs> no, no, it, uh, it's exactly it. You, you nailed it right on it, yes. Listen to Ryan. He knows what he's talking about. All right. About. Well, that's it. It's the end of the show. I nailed it. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but actually, really, it is the end of the show. Um, we're at the last minute. Do you want to highlight real quickly, um, just kind of recap what we talked about? Yeah, so there are different ways to use large images on the website, either full screen size, it could be in a large slideshow, also known as slider, it could be a collage of some sort. Uh, then uh, again, the important thing to remember is to have purpose when using an image and make sure it, it pushes forward your brand or at least promote your services or convey a very complex or maybe a very specific message you're trying to convey in a matter of seconds. 
So again, purpose, purpose, purpose. And with that, you can use large, powerful images and render great benefits for you and your company. All right, perfect. Well, that is the end of the show, Virginie. As always, I appreciate the time and energy that you put into this and providing all of the viewers out there some great information. Next week, we're going to continue the website trends into 2016. It's going to be the final uh, part in this four-part series. And uh, always looking forward to uh, talking with you and sharing some great information with our audience. Sounds good. Well, have a great weekend. All right, will do. Okay, everybody, have a great uh, Thursday and a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Take care.